Let's try to find the area between the curves x equals 1 minus y squared and x equals 10. And now, first of all, these aren't functions of y, these are functions of x. So in some sense, we have to kind of think sideways. So let's graph these. This is my x-axis and this is my y-axis. Um, the, first, the first curve, x equals 1 plus y squared, that's actually a sideways parabola with x-intercept 1. You can find it by putting y equals 0 in there. And then since it's a plus y squared, it points in the positive x-direction. In other words, it points to the right. If you have trouble graphing x equals 1 plus y squared, you could try graphing y equals 1 plus x squared and then flipping that over the line y equals x. And then we also have x equals 10. That's much easier. That's a horse, sorry, a vertical line at 10. And this is the area between these two curves. And there are two ways of doing this problem. One way of doing this problem is to find the area by using this one, this top curve, and this one is the bottom curve, and doing the integral from 1 to 10 of this curve minus this curve. Or because it's symmetric, you could just do the integral of this curve to find this area and multiply it by 2. What we're going to try to do this time is to actually use y as a variable. And so we want to find the area below, quote unquote, this line because now y is kind of, the y axis is kind of the bottom and this means up. We want to find the area below this line and above this parabola from this part. Well, like, actually, I guess I have to go from here to here because this is the negative one and this is the positive one in terms of y. So let's first figure out what the y coordinates of these two intersection points are. Um, let's see. I have x equals 1 plus y squared and x equals 10. If I want to solve them simultaneously, I can set them equal to each other. So that's pretty easy. y squared is 9, so y is plus or minus 3. So y is minus 3, and y is plus 3 here. And so now we take the integral of the top curve. Remember now we mean the rightmost curve minus the leftmost curve, the bottom curve, from minus 3 to 3. So the area is equal to minus 3 to 3, top is 10, minus 1 plus y squared, dy, since now y is a variable, our function is x, so height is measured in x, width is measured in y. And now this means, I can simplify it a little bit, 9 minus y squared dy, taking the antiderivative, that's 9y minus y cubed over 3, from minus 3 to 3. So that would be 9 times 3, minus 3 cubed over 3, minus 9 times minus 3, minus 3 cubed over 3, or minus 3 cubed over 3, but minus 3 cubed is the same thing as minus of 3 cubed. So I just took that minus sign there and changed it to a plus sign. And this is 27 minus, ooh, 3 cubed is 27. That's good. So that's 27 minus 9 minus minus 27 plus 9. So that's 18 minus minus 18, or that would be 36. So that's the area. And you can see that because of the symmetry in the problem, these two terms end up being negatives of each other, and when you subtract, these two terms both kind of contribute the same thing. The term on the left is essentially this area, and the term on the right is essentially this area.